Hey, it's TK here, TK of Doors Card, here to give you my quick thoughts. Slash review of episode 3 of Baruto Naruto Next Generations. This episode was titled uh, Shadai vs. Metal Lee, I believe. Um, pretty good episode. It's pretty much focused on Shadai and the. Uh, well, I would say it's pretty much focused mostly on Shadai. Um, and I guess a little bit of Metal Lee, which is Lee's son. Um, yeah, pretty good episode. Um, pretty much start off them um, training on this um pretty much training with the shuriken, you know, trying to get their aim on point and stuff and uh Baruto comes in with the demon shurikens, which was um a wild beast, which is the new character that we was introduced to last week. And um yeah, Metal tried Metal Lee pretty much tried to uh, uh intercept it and like like kick it and like nailed it onto the target and he pretty much failed, you know, he pretty much got caught up in it and yeah. So um pretty much they had to uh, go and work on the Hokage statue because no Baruto what it wasn't actually Baruto's fault that got damaged but you know Baruto took the blame for it. Um back on episode one. So uh yeah they ended up working on that and uh Metal, Metal, he, Metal Lee, he, he pretty much gets nervous when people watch his film. And, uh, he pretty much damaged the, the, uh, Hokage's statue even more, which is Naruto's, that's damaged, Naruto's face is damaged on the on Hokage's statue thingy. But, uh, yeah, we pretty much, should, should I pretty much, I guess he was a little too hard on, uh, Metal Lee, because he was still he telling him, uh, pretty much like people make mistakes and stuff. I don't really remember exactly what, what all he told him, but he pretty much told him something that was pretty harsh, I guess, to Lee, I guess. Um, but yeah, I'm just gonna skip forward. I'm not trying to recap the whole episode, but pretty much, Baruto the next day, Baruto, because Baruto, you know, he he got partial of the Byakugan and he saw the same thing that was like pretty much the same chakra that was pretty much uh on Dinky. Um, we don't know what this mysterious thing is but it keeps like possessing people or whatnot making them anger angry you know enraging them pretty much and uh yeah they pretty much was trying well Lee was targeting Mel Lee was pretty much target, targeting Shaddai um because the what happened the previous day, of course, Shadai was trying to apologize and stuff because after talking to um, Shikamaru and Sh Tamari, because they was talking about the situation back at home. Uh, but well, he was talking about what he said to Lee, but he was pretty much explaining why he was you know, had to work on the statue and whatnot. And uh, that's when Shikadai pretty much felt a little sorry for Lee. And that's when he decided to apologize on the next date. But anyways, Lee was targeting Shaddai. Uh, they know exactly what to do. So him, Baruto, and Eno Jin, which is Sai and Eno's kid, pretty much ran and was trying to think of a plan to pretty much stop him. Um, and yeah, the the thing the thing I was possessing, Mel Lee pretty much just end up leaving on its own. You know, they didn't really like beat Mel Lee down or anything. Oh, well, it was a pretty, pretty good episode, in my opinion. Um, Baruto is now just noticing that, like, everybody doesn't see that, the, um, didn't see, wasn't seeing the bad chakra thing on Mel Lee, so he was trying to get, he was pretty much asking he not to, like, yep, you got the Biaku gun, right? Like, what does this power do, you know? But he didn't really get to really much like ask all the questions because Naruto came but Naruto was like real tired so he just went up he was going upstairs to go to sleep from a hard day of work because you know being Hokage is hard work so we he really didn't get to um get to ask all the questions he wanted to ask him not to but he knows that he has partial of you know he has a little bit of that Byakugan power in him but overall it was a pretty good episode um I'm just just loving this loving this show, man. 
I like the moments with the uh, Shikadai, Shikamaru, and Tamari at home, you no know, talking and whatnot. So it's a nice scene for me, you know. I just was just liking seeing you know, the couple you know, from Naruto and the whole family. I just, I just like this stuff. <laughs> But, um, young TK, TK with the rest card, leave your thoughts in the comments down below what you thought of this episode about Ruto and Naruto Next Generations, episode 3. I thought it was a great episode. Looking forward to next week's. We got, um, Naruto versus, uh, Shirade. I think that's it. I'm not sure how you pronounce the name. I think it's Shirade, right? Or should. I'm, I'm gonna get it eventually. I, I still can't pronounce the name. But it's Sasuke's and Sakura's daughter. They're gonna be fighting over, uh, some food, so yeah, it's always called Battle of the Sexes. Looking forward to it, and it looks, it looks like it looks like um, I think Baruto and Shirada. I think I think that's how I say it, right. That's how I say it. I think I think they're gonna end up being a little couple in the future. I think I think so. And Naruto he can't get Sas Sakura back then, but. You know, maybe their the kids going to hit it off, you know? But anyways, I'm TK, TK with Car. We can have more conversations like this on Twitter. If you want to tweet me at TK with Car. Follow me on Instagram at TK with Car. And thanks for tuning in. Till next week, I'll talk to you later. Unless I get a trailer rest and do. But till next time. Peace.